my own education as an art student was was pretty catastrophic really. I dropped out of two colleges. I never even finished a course. You know, I studied graphic design and fine art. I did a foundation course. <coughs> and it gave me a bit of a problem with educational institutions. And um, so when I was invited into LCC initially as a visiting research fellow, I had to find a position for myself where I could function, you know, without having this chip on my shoulder about the whole thing. And then I started to get invited to give lectures at academic conferences and keynotes very often. And I didn't really know how to deal with it. And for a while I was writing papers. And I got to the point of thinking, this is really not me. Um, I think it's boring. The writing I'm doing is boring. The delivery is boring. Um, but y you have a problem that there are expectations of a certain density of knowledge that comes through in those situations. And it's very hard to improvise that even though I'm an improviser. And um, I had to work out a tactic to deal with that. And gradually over the years I've begun to mix performance with um, a more conventional form of talking about what I do or what the subject is. And it's really about listening. It begins from a kind of silence, and it's about listening. And I think that <coughs> activating that sense, and you can talk about activating that sense, because uh, the emphasis in academia is so much on visuocentrism and text. So many people are really not particularly aware of how they use listening or how sound functions.